Okay, so, we are talking about the regular uh, DFA to regular expression. So, uh, so, we have seen given a DFA, we can rename this states by, if there are n state, we can always rename the states by q 1 to q n and we have this sigma q 1 f. Okay, so, this is the uh, so now this uh, this is this is the set of all states which are finite states. So we can always uh, number the states by one to n. Now in the last class we have seen if we denote i j n is equal to set of all string such that delta hat of q i comma x is equal to q j. Uh, it is starting from q i and it is going to q j and in the intermediate it is not seeing any node which is labeled by more than k. So, all the nodes over here which is seeing here all the nodes which is seeing here are less than equal to k and all the nodes are less than equal to k. So, that is the oh sorry this is k. So, all the intermediate nodes which is seeing over here are less than equal to k. So, that restriction is there. So, we are starting from q i and we are visiting some of the nodes. Finally, we are reaching to q j and all the nodes level here are must be less than equal to dot 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 <laughs> less than equal to k. That means, we are not seeing any node which is level more than k and there is no restriction on i and j. i j could be greater than k or equal to k, there is no restriction on that. Okay. And we have seen the relationship recurs, rec recursive relation for this r i j k as follows. So, we, we this is r i j k minus 1 union of r i k r i k k minus 1 r k k k minus 1 r k j k minus 1. Okay. So, this is the star. So, this we have proved in the last class this is basically the idea is we are starting from i to j and we do not want to see any nodes which is more than uh, level more than k. So, there are two possibilities the kth level node may come q k or may not come. So, this is the path in which we are just seeing no nodes. So, which is labeled by so we are starting from q i we have to go to q j. Now, this is one path in which we are not seeing any node which is q k. So, that means all the nodes here are labeled strictly less than k that means less than equal to k minus 1. So, this is denoting by this set of all string is denoted by r i j k minus 1 this is one possibilities the in the path we have no q k no kth node and another possibilities is we have a q k may be one, may be twice, may be thrice in the path. So, we have q k, q k, q k like this. So, there is no q k in this path. So, this is set of all string denoted by r i k, k minus 1. There is no q k here. So, r k k, k minus 1, r k k, k minus 1 like this. If there is no q k over here, this is r k j k minus 1. So, this is this path and 
this is union set of all string this path. So, how it is? So, we take the concatenation. So, we take a x, we go here, then this will consider as a star. Star means if it is if, if it is 0, that means there is one q k only like that. If it is more q k, then we have a star like this. And then if this is the last q k, then from here we are going to q j without say seeing any q k in the in that corresponding path. So, this 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 is the recursive relation of R i j uh, which we have seen in the last class. Now, we are going to prove that for each of this R i, this is R i is basically a uh, language set of all string which is act which is starting from q i which is going to q j without seeing any nodes which is labeled by more than k. Okay. Now, our claim is for each of this i j, so this is i is i and j both are 1 to n and k is now our claim is for every i j and k we have a regular expression r i j k such that language of that regular expression is same as r i j k. This is our claim. We are uh, we are trying to prove that I mean not trying we are going to prove that we have a regular expression there exists a regular expression r i j k such that the language of the regular expression is same as this this uh, set of all string r i j k. Okay. So, we will prove this by method of induction on k. So, we will prove this by induction on k for a given i j. We fix the i j. Now, this is a this is something which is talking about on n, n is a natural number, n is starting from here starting from 0 to n. So, by mathematical induction if you have to prove some statement is true, what we need to show? We need to show the statement is true for this is a property, the statement is true for some lower value of k that is the base case say for k is equal to 0. So, if we can show that we have a r i 0, small r i 0 and then there is an induction hypothesis. We assume that the statement is true for k is equal to some value say k and then if we can prove that this statement is true for k plus 1, then by the method of mathematical induction we can say the statement is true for all k. So, that we are going to show. So, first of all we need to show the statement is true for uh, k is equal to 0 that is the base case. So, for k is equal to 0, we are trying to get a r i, we are trying to get a r, we fix i j r i 0 such that is the r i j 0. Okay. So, what is r i 0? Capital R i 0. capital R i 0 is nothing but, let me just. so we are at q i, we have to go to q j with the intermediate node which is labeled by at most 0, but there is no nodes labeled by 0, our states are starting from 1 to n. So, that means this meaning is that there is no intermediate node, either there is a direct h, direct arc if at all there is or it is empty. Okay. Or it is empty. So, that means how to write this? So, this is basically if i is not equal to j, 
So, this is all all a 1. Uh, so, this is the set a 1, a 2, a r or a l what notation I have used a p a p such that such that uh, such that such that delta of delta of q i a i q i a i is equal to q j delta of a i q i a i is equal to q j when i not equal to j it is epsilon union of all these a i s if same thing is happened such that delta of a i q i. Okay. So, that means, this is q i if i is equal to j then if there is some a i it will just a i otherwise if there is no self loop it is just epsilon okay. or else uh, or else it is just uh, uh, if i not equal to j this is q i and this is q j if i not equal to j if there is a a which is taking delta of q i q j equal to a then that a will come. So, all union of all such a is basically r i j. So, then what is the small r i j? 0. So, small r i j 0 is nothing but. So, this union means these are union, union means the in the regular expression it is basically the plus all such a 1 plus a 2 a p where where a delta of a i sorry q i a i is equal to q j this i is from 1 to p and here i is not equal to 0. Okay. That means, if there is a uh, if there is a arc form say this is q i this is q j. So, there are two possibilities one is there is a arc say a and a 1 a 2 say this is one chance a 1 a 2 then what is our uh, what is our r i j 0 r i j 0 is nothing but a 1 union a 2. Which is corresponding to the regular expression a 1 a 2 this is r i j small r i j 0 very simple. And if, if there is no if i not equal to j and if there is no such a i then what it is? It is basically epsilon. Then if there is no such a i s then r i j 0 sorry r i j 0 is empty and in that case this is the regular expression. Okay. And if i is equal to j, so if q i is equal to q j, if there is no self loop, then it is simply epsilon, set epsilon, which is corresponding to the r i j 0 is equal to epsilon, because epsilon will give us the regular expression epsilon will give us the corresponding the singleton epsilon. So, this is the uh, yeah, this is the base case. So, for base case let us write in formal way. So, 
So, R i j 0 is this e i j this for i not equal to 0 or it is empty uh, empty if there is no such if no such a i this is also for i not equal to j or it is epsilon if no such a i and i equal to j. This is true for i equal to j also. So, if i is equal to j and these are all self loop then the r i is basically r 1 plus r p plus epsilon this is our r i i 0 if all this self loop with the epsilon. So, that is claim is true for so, L of R i j 0 is nothing but R i j capital R i j 0. So, this we can easily verify. So, the result is true for r k is equal to 0 that is the best case. Okay. Now, we are going to assume the result is true for uh, some value k or up to k and then if we can show that result is true for k plus 1 then we are done. So, that step we are going to show now. So, this is called induction on step induction step or induction hypothesis. So, we assume the result is true up to k. Okay. So, we assume given r i j we are fixing, we are fixing i and j. Given r i j uh, for all r i j for all r sorry for all i and j uh, this is k, this result is true for uh, up to k minus 1. That means what? That means this assumption is telling us by the induction hypothesis for each yeah we, we may not fix i j also if each l n there exist a regular expression r l m k minus 1 such that language of r l m k minus 1 is same as r l m k minus 1. This is we this is our assumption. Okay. Now, from here we need to find a r or we can uh, we, we need to find a r i j k such that the language accepted by this is r i j k with the help of this and then we can we have already proved the base case we can say that this result is true for all of all k. Okay, so, this is our assumption. Now, what is the then how to construct small r i j k that will coming from the recursive definition of r capital. We know the capital r i j k is nothing but r i j k minus 1 union of r i k k minus 1 r k k k minus 1 star r k j k minus 1. So, this recursive relationship we know. Okay. Now, we, we know that we have regular expression for this, we know we have regular expression for this. We are, here we are not fixing i j, we for every i and j we have a regular expression when the power is less than k. So, we all have regular expression for this. 
So, we have a regular expression for this r i j k minus 1, we have a regular expression for this small, this is this is from the assumption induction hypothesis. We are assuming that we do have a regular expression for all this which is whose power is less than k, I mean less than equal to k minus 1. Then we have to construct, we have to have a regular expression which is true for uh, k also. Okay, so, we have a regular expression for this, we also have a regular expression for this, this is coming from the induction assumption or induction hypothesis, we do have a regular expression from this. Now, using this regular expression, we have to get a regular expression for this and that is nothing but, because we know the properties of regular expression r i j k we just simply define because this union is nothing but plus when you talk about um, the language r i j k minus 1 plus r i k k minus 1 concatenate r k k k minus 1 star r k j k minus 1 that is all. That is all. So, r i j k is equal to r i j k minus 1 plus r i k k minus 1. Okay. Because we are assuming that we, we do have a regular expression for this. Now, what is the language accepted by this? So, language accepted by this is nothing but by the definition of regular expression and if we consider the, the uh, precedence of this operator, this is nothing but language accepted by this union of language accepted by this concatenated with the language accepted by this. A language accepted by this star, then concatenated with the language accepted by this. Now, what is this? This is basically, this is the regular expression corresponding to this. So, language of this is nothing but this, that is the assumption r i j k minus 1 union of. What is this? Similarly, this is the regular expression corresponding to this language. So, this will be r uh, yeah this will be r i k k minus 1. Similarly, this will be r k k k minus 1 star and this is this is again r k j k minus 1 and from this recursive relation this is nothing but r i j k r i j k. So, this language this regular expression is corresponding to the language r i j k this is the proof. So, the our statement is true for uh, for all k and we have already uh, our statement is true for k we assume the statement is true for k minus 1. Now, here we have a regular expression which is accepting the k and we have seen that base case the k is equal to 0 it is true. So, that, that, that means, for k is equal to 1, k is equal to 2, k is equal to 3 it will be true. So, we can keep on constructing this by this uh, relationship. So, this way we can, uh, so this is the proof, this is the proof by induction. Okay, so, uh, so this we will use, uh, so now suppose we have this, so we have this, now from here how we can say that given a DFA, we have a regular expression which is accepting the language corresponding to DFA, so that we have to see. 
So, we have given the DFA q say say q 1 q 2 q n delta q 1 and we have f, f is also say some q i 1 q i r. Okay. Now, the language accepted by this DFA is all such string x such that delta hat of q 1 x is belongs to f either one of this. So, we start from q 1 x either it will go to q i 1 or it will go to q i 2 all such x x y j all such connection of the string this. Now, we want to get a regular expression for this. Now, we know this r i j n. So, so, what is the in terms of this? This can be written as then uh, r 1 i 1 n union of r 1 i 2 n union of r 1 i r n because these are all language, these are all string. This say for example, this what is this set? This is the string we start with q 1 with x we reach to i 1 which is one of the final state and there is no restriction on the intermediate nodes because this is n like this. So, similarly here also we start with q 1 we reach to q i 2 q i 1 q i 2 and there is so this is the this is our language in terms of capital R i. Now, we know for each of this R i we have a small R i. So, that is nothing but so this will corresponding to R 1 I 1 n R 1 I 2 n R 1 I R n and these are union. So, basically R is R 1 I 1 n plus R 1 I 2 n dot 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 plus R 1 I n n. So, this is the regular expression. So, what is the language? Language of this is union of all these things. So, language of this is nothing but uh, language of all this, these are this basically language of n. So, this is the regular expression for this automata. So, given a DFA, we can always construct a regular expression which will corresponding to the uh, same language of that automata. So, in the next class we will get, take some example uh, to construct such given a DFA with say few two three states how to construct this. So, we will discuss that we will we will uh, exercise that in the next class. Thank you.